Well, we've really enjoyed the show. I mean, it's been tremendous. And I think, you know, sticking to the theme of interoperability, we've seen more and more people coming to us asking about, you know, interoperability, that sort of concept of extensibility, which is exactly what the conversation we love to have because we understand that going forward, more and more people are going to be using APIs, going to be looking for that interoperability, going to be looking for the extensibility. Fantastic um, approach from a lot of the other vendors in the community as well sort of say, hey, should we be integrating together? Should we be making life easier at the end of the day for the service providers and the enterprises and so on? So we've loved that approach. We've loved that conversation. Our integrations are very quick. We love working with the other vendors too. So it's been a great highlight for us. I think more than anything, I, I won't forget the fact that we also won Best of Interop. So that's been a massive highlight for us as well. Um, for after five years of managing uh, the show, it's been nice to come back again and, and monitor and manage the entire infrastructure. I think that really speaks volumes, not only to our engineering prowess, but again, to the openness of the, the product, to not be stuck and glued to any one technology, but being agnostic and open to all other technologies that we can layer on top of the platform and give everybody inside the knocker an, an overriding view from a single pane of glass has been a tremendous opportunity to showcase the technology for us. The, the true value, I think, is in trying to ease the, the life of the average operations person um, today. I think the tools that they were using uh, yes, sir. And when I say yes, sir, you know, we can look at mainframe, how a lot of those tools never left the chasm over to the server client model. And again, even those tools, how they're just not bridging the gap anymore to this very volatile, very fluid notion of cloud computing, where everything is very extensible. You've got vMotion events taking place. How many tools are out there that are able to, you know, keep control and monitor and give you visibility into that, that uh, motion, that very free uh, scalability and, you know, building up and tearing down of of visualizations. I think more than anything else, we're seeing everybody, including the enterprises, moving towards this role as a service provider, meaning that they have different contexts that they want to give visibility and control to within their organization or downstream constituents. So that means multi-tenancy has become core um, to a lot of the, the tools today from a management perspective. It's something that we feel we do better than anybody else from multi-tenancy. Automation, that really speaks to the efficiency that everyone's looking for. We look around the room and we hear everybody talking about software-defined networks and this control, at, you know, control layer at a higher plane, what it really means is your ability to get away from the commoditized aspects of manual workflows and try to start automating the process, controlling it from a single point of view. We believe that we do that exceptionally well. We've built also automation in a very smart way from the outlet. So from the point of uh, you know, discovery of all the assets inside an, an enterprise organization, IT organization or service provider data center, for example, all the way through to the point of eventing, alerting, runbook automation, escalating to fulfilling the, the policies that they have as to what to do when something either goes wrong or right, either from a performance or cost perspective inside the data center. It's something that we, we're loving having conversations around. People are feeling this pain today. So they, they're coming to us. We've had an, an overwhelming volume of people coming to us. I think we've got a lot of momentum in the marketplace because they, they really need a tool that gets them to that next level of efficiency. It's no longer good enough to just say we do it faster and better, we have to do it smarter. So one of the unique things I'd say is, can your monitoring and management tool do this? Can you monitor and manage from anywhere on any device and for any device as well? And again, um, can you manage that not just from a device perspective, but from a service perspective? And that's really a, a nuance and, and a new way of, of operating your uh, IT environment now in line with what the business requirements are as a service. So if you want to give your downstream constitu constituents a visibility into the service, you can do so. But if you as an administrator need to get deep, deep granular levels into the devices, operating systems, disk swaps, you name it, you're able to do so from this device. So it's a, it's a fascinating technology. We're ahead of the curve and we're very proud of that, you know, meeting the workplace environment that's more and more mobile today.